Uh, okay, familia. Apologies for the delay here. I hope this is. I hope everybody can join me. Everybody can hear me now. I was talking to myself on another on another stream for a good five minutes, realizing that you all weren't even here with me. Uh, so I apologize for that. Hello, Dori, Linda. Thank you so much for joining me. I, apologies again for the delay. Yes, this is the right one. I'm sorry. Um, I had some, some issues, some internet issues that I'm going to be fixing today. I just got to get a wire and plug in directly because, uh, I'm downstairs, the wipe, the router's upstairs. And so I, I need to, I need to make sure that I don't get interrupted. So I apologize. I had jumped on one and I was talking and I realized all the comments, everybody was like, is this the right one? And I'm like, can you guys hear me? So if you can hear me, can you give me a thumbs up, please? <laughs> please 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 uh so yeah i just want to say welcome everybody please no no spoilers um i apologize for the late uh start here um hopefully i did a internet uh, speed test and everything should be running just fine now everybody's logged off of the wi-fi um before i get started i just want to ask what, what what shirt do you think that i'm wearing what color shirt do you think i'm wearing and while while you answer that i'm going to read a, uh, the official disclaimer for this episode, for this show. Uh, the official disclaimer is that the following is a paid, the following is a paid collaboration with the chosen. There are two conditions with this partnership. The first being that I have been given express permission from the chosen and VidAngel studios to show their content on my channel. So do not broad, sorry, do not rebroadcast the chosen unless you have permission from their team. What you're about to see, the second thing is that what you're about to see and hear from me is an honest review of the show, and I get to be as brutal or as positive as I want to be. I'm not being paid to like the show, so if I don't like it, I get to say so. And so far, though, I have to say that I've been very impressed with the show. This show is of, like, great quality. The actors are amazing. The cinematography, the uh, the wardrobe, um, what else? Uh, let's see, the, the, the sound design everything is just beautiful and if you agree with me please give me a heart in, in the in the in the chat all right so i'm going to reveal the shirt the color of the shirt and i'm going to talk to you about something that i just recently discovered about the chosen that i absolutely love all right so here we go you ready this is the shirt that i'm wearing boom it's white and and it says blessed on it <laughs> my daughter uh liana e and Liana Yi and Erika went to the store the other day and they surprised me with uh, with the shirt. So I'm happy to wear it. And I, it definitely is true for me. I do feel blessed. I'm, I've been blessed by all of you for sure along this uh, journey. Uh, <clears throat> I'm excited. The thing that I wanted to point out was ab about the, the Chosen app. That it, it, It's absolutely free to download, okay? Like you can download the app for free. And it's got awesome, great content besides the, uh, the episodes, other than having all the episodes and, and being able to, you being able to, uh, put subtitles and watch them in different languages. Okay. There are like bonus content, which I haven't explored yet because I don't want to, I don't want any spoilers, but you can look through, oh, oops, almost dropped it through tons of other content, you know, to, I don't know, just to get to know a little bit more of what went into the show. Uh, there's also like a deep dive, which I'm excited to see because you see, this is like a sit down. I can't wait to finish this series so that I can take a look at all this extra content. But the, but the awesome thing that I just discovered is that the reason why this is free is because the people who created this show wanted this to be accessible to everyone around the world. And in order for them to do it, they have to provide it for free because not everybody can afford it. But um, there is a little tab down in the bottom that says pay it forward. And what this is, is there's a way for you to, to actually contribute to the app itself to keep it going to get this in, in, in the hands of more people. So there are different packages. You can donate whatever amount that you are comfortable with or that you can. All right. And it tells you what, what, uh, what you get. Some of these, they give you credit. They give you credit in the, in the credits, but the most important thing is getting this story out in front of more people, right? Um, so there's that. So this is one way you can contribute to the show. I know that they're trying to get funding for a season two and I'm, I'm up for it. So I'm, I'm really down for, for an episode, uh, season two. So I, I'm barely halfway through the, through the season and I'm already ready for season two. Uh, there's also a gift, a gift section where you can buy the DVDs and buy, I think I'm going to get, there's a, 
The soundtrack is being sold here too. And there's like a chosen 40 day devotional guidebook, which is pretty, I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. It's this one here. And every time you buy something from their, from their page, uh, it goes into season two funding. So there's that. And then also if, if for, for whatever reason you can't actually, uh, contribute financially, I'm sure that it would help if you just share the button. There's a share button in the bottom, share the app with someone, um, could, because maybe you can't, but the next person that you share it with could probably potentially fund the next season, right? So that's exciting. All right, Familia. So if you're ready to go, oh, thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry. I'm going to try my best to keep, keep, uh, keep, uh, an eye out on the, on the super chats. It says, what's the most surprising thing to you about the chosen so far? I think the most surprising thing to me is the, the, the way that they're portraying Jesus here in this, in this, uh, series, uh, most of the Jesus, most of the Jesuses that I've seen have come across. I, I don't want to say like, I don't want to say arrogant. That's not, that's not what I mean, but they're very like, like, yes, I'm divine. You know, I hear, look, behold, this is, I'm Jesus, you know, it, mostly because I think it's like a, a really difficult role to play because how do you play, you know, a, 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 a half God, half human but i like the way that they're portraying him as a as more human um i don't know how, how do you all feel about that right so aloof yeah maybe aloof is the right word um but this is like more human and i like that because as i said in the previous episode he could have just been like no one's watching blink fire right and pff, made the fire or anybody could or they could have just shown off his like his like divinity by having him like you know, like start the fire magically, but no, he's like, I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it myself. And they saw, you saw him working on the fire and blowing it and making sure he got, he got a good little fire started and then, you know, made him very human. So that, that's, I think that's what I've really loved about it. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, all right. So if you all are ready, I have the, the, the next show, the next episode ready. And I've got my water, my cold water, and uh, I've got another bottle just in case. Um, no spoilers, please. But can you all let me know? Am I gonna need like a box of tissues for this episode? Because everybody keeps saying this is so good, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna need it. Because you already know me. You already know me emotionally over here. Ah, so good. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna do my best to keep my eye on the uh, on the chats. Okay, um, I think, uh, John, you have my number. If you see that I miss a chat or something, please uh, just shoot me a text. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my phone on just so that I don't, I don't miss it. Um, all right, so if you're ready, let's grab our headphones. Yes, okay. Uh, I have a handkerchief ready here just in case. And I have my, my hold music just in case I need to put you all on hold and and regroup myself <laughs> no spoilers please if i ask you a question please just answer the question don't don't give me what's gonna what's about to happen okay all right everybody for the for those of you who are just uh, watching this for the very first time with me thank you thank you so much for waiting for me so patiently because i know that that this show is so good you're probably going to um get all antsy and want to to finish it before i do so get your notepads ready yeah take your get your notepads the last time that erica was here she uh she was taking notes she was taking some great notes by the way uh so yeah feel free to take some notes uh what else what else what else oh yeah erica sends her best she's at work right now so she couldn't join us here today but um but she sends her love all right okay familia so without further delay let's be on our way i'm gonna do a quick test let me know you can hear the audio okay there's audio to this already. Let me know if you can hear it. Can you all hear it? Give me a thumbs up. Boy Peter, sorry, I'm trying to get on the live on my phone so I don't miss a super chat. Perfect. Slow down. Slow down. What is it? Oops, 
Separation <laughs> bubble. So, so. I mean, you were close. Good job. Good job, he said. Louder? I apologize, but this is about as loud as I can get it. Uh, give me one second, actually. Oh, sorry. Yes, I can get louder. Apologies. Let me go back a little bit. So... What is it? I'm just gonna start it there, okay? Apologies. Oh, slow down! Better? Slow down! I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. What is it? It's a fishing bobber. So? So? That means we're close. Good job. He's like, yeah, good job. Man, being troubled with doing the right thing. Oops. Hard to port! What? This way! Romans. Oh, Is he taking them on a wild goose chain chase? Sandbar. Why are you not listening to me? I told you to go this way. Ooh. Ah, all right, here we go. How many arches did you all give this uh, this song? Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for no spoilers. Thank you for being respectful to one another, okay? <laughs> Accidents awesome. happen, boys. Nothing to be ashamed of. There's no accident. You know the sea better than anyone. That's why you smell of it. I want you to remember this, Simon, son of Jonah. This is kindness. Yeesh. Quintus, on the other hand, is capable of savage violence against those who betray him. If I can hold him off for a week, perhaps. Think of Eden. If you even walk down the same road, <coughs> make good on your promises, dog. Poor Simon. Thanks for coming, Zebedee. Oh, the boys didn't have to twist my arm too hard to get me to have a drink. Is that business or pleasure? And this? No, I ran out of bait. Figured <laughs> I'd give my ear a try. <laughs> 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 Man, 
Maybe someone didn't like your sense of humor. Why are we here, Simon? I made a deal with the Romans. The Romans? Simon, You didn't Simon. say anything about any deal to us, Sabah. You see the wound? Doesn't look like Simon gave them what they wanted, does it? Use your brains. Go on. I owe taxes. We all do. A lot. They were set to take the boat, our houses, or give up a fleet fishing on Shabbat. Oh, you knew about this? Keep it down, man. Thank you for your <laughs> honesty, Sam. If I may return the favor, I'm shocked you'd even show your face here, much less ask me to join you. I won't argue that. I'm trapped, but puts me in a valuable position. <laughs> really? Now tell me, what's the value of a dead trader? I'm not a trader. You're finished on the dock, Simon. Leave him. Come on, Allah. I know their plans, Zebedee. They're coming for you. They're playing you, kid. Sorry. I can't help you. You fished the Gregesa shore last night. <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe, Maybe I, I didn't. didn't. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. You dock six ships. Pretty soon, everyone in the hammer knows where you were. What they can't tell you is where I'll be next time. It was only three ships, Zebedee. I was practically in your wake with some soldiers. Many more waiting on shore for you to offload. How did he make it out of there? I made sure the boat had an unfortunate accident, then lost part of my wife's figure dear. Thanks, <laughs> No, don't thank him. <laughs> He chose to deal with Rome. So what was your play gonna be, huh? Were you shopping around for an ally? Someone to take you on in exchange for turning over his competitors? No, it's way stupider than that. I want you to turn over your catch. What did he say? Wait, turn it over to who? To me. <laughs> Will you stay off the sea on Shabbat? For a while, anyway. I could tell Quintus the problem is solved. <laughs> this is pointless. He's right. It's just one night's work. Forty nights. One for every man that made the sacrifice to be away from his family. Yeah, and all forty went home in the morning because of me. Yes, Simon, because you couldn't bear it if you ruined us as you ruined yourself. I get, sorry, I'm gonna pause it real quick. I kinda get it. So they were onto them anyway, right? At least Simon is now pretending i guess to want to catch them in the act and now he can say that he solved the problem get them off their back and they can continue doing on their doing their thing i see I mean, he's really smart simon simon's uh he's smart but he's not too smart because he gets he's getting himself in into even more trouble but i don't know it seems like he's gonna be okay in the end i don't know <laughs> you owe you a great debt for that I cannot repay you by stealing food from the mouths of my men. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matthew, the tax collector, Prutal. Fruit here is incredible. Pomegranates, dates, figs, berries, the olives. Everything that grows here is immaculate. Except the people. You're such a miserable lot. You worship one god, and yet you're all divided. You see, people complain we Romans run the world, but I know a dirty secret. You people want to be ruled. You want an excuse to complain. It's part of your nature. Wow. Do you understand that, Matthew? I don't know. Ooh. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, you 
or a single-minded machine these things are beneath you. Where's your escort? He didn't want to enter. He feels that my lack of social grace He is... thinks you'll get him killed. Yes. <laughs> uh, not today, Matthew, no. <laughs> today, I am in need. And you heard me right. I am in need of your machine. My machine? Your mind, Matthew, keep up. <laughs> Might have been right about Simon. He double crossed me, maybe, but probably. The truth is I don't have many seaworthy troops here. It might have been an accident. Dominus? Follow Simon. I want to know where he goes, with whom he meets. Tell me what they're talking about, what he's drinking, anything. The latter may prove difficult. In fact, all of what you request, Dominus, may prove difficult. Yeah, but you're a resource. <laughs> Nobody man. wants him around. Goal oriented. Huh? I'm not accepted. Where? Anywhere. I'm a tax collector. Viewed with jealousy. Hated. Everyone hates tax collectors. They're worse than the Romans. Oh. <laughs> you were born Roman. I made the choice. So go in disguise, I don't care. Wow. This uh, guy you can write. This guy who plays Quintus is really good. Uh I don't know what he's like in real life, but if he's like a really kind hearted person, he's he's really good at acting and he plays a real good mean person. A a, a real I'm not gonna say it, but really good. He's he's really good. He's selling this he's selling this role really well. Right. Can you? So is Matthew, yes. by the way. Matthew. Yeah. Right, everything. Every detail. Is your booth protected? Yes, Dominus. My dog guards it while I'm away. <laughs> oh, Matthew, you are a priceless treasure. Of course you have a dog. What does I that mean? Oh, nice. <laughs> The line stretched from the edge of the Jordan into the acacia groves as far as the eye could see. All of them awaiting an immersion in the river by a loud man in camel skin. And not for purification. He called it a baptism of repentance, a forgiveness of sin. What exactly did he say? Have you seen him before? I have not. That is what he said. Rabbi, is there precedent for this? What of his speech? Rabbi? His words. The message. Did he advocate rabbinic law? Did he call for revolution, violence? Not the violence. But I haven't told you the worst part. Is One of our own approached him, and he called all of us snakes. Us? Yes, religious leaders. Snakes? He ranted like a madman about how worthless we were. What else? What else? What could be worse than that? <laughs> it depends on who he is. He told tax collectors and soldiers not to extort money or collect more than they're authorized to. They were present as he said this? Yes. And he told the commoners to share food and clothing with those ah, who have he's none. he's preaching a populist message. Mm. In Jerusalem, I heard talk of a wild man who entered the king's court with a list of evils done by Herod Antipas and his family. What should be done, Rabbi? Can we bring him in for questioning by the Sanhedrin? If it is the same person, he does not answer to Sanhedrin. And we're not his only targets anyway. He seems to relish rejecting anything with tradition or Ooh. anyone with influence. Dare I say that I'm starting to like this Jesus uh, character. <laughs> He's a real rebel. He's like, uh, your traditions? Pfft. Look, man, this is what it is. I don't know. I got to see more, but I started. I started to like this guy. Do they say he performs miracles? I don't know. Mm. This meeting's adjourned. Meeting's over, guys. Oh, they're not talking about Jesus. What's this? Ah, okay. Apologies. <laughs> I like I there like John then. <laughs> Simon. What happened to your ear? There is a cut on it. What, what, what's going on? 
Simon, we are brothers here. Yes, if you ever find yourself in need of, of anything. Look, if this is about what's going on in the docks, I don't know what you've heard. It's just a misunderstanding, all right? It's business. What's wrong at the docks? Uh oh. <laughs> I, I lost the lure. What's up? Ima is sick. Ima? What happened? She's coughing in fits. She has no strength to do anything. And yet she does not sleep. She's spitting up blood. I don't understand. We, we just saw her last month. Simon, it's been a month since you have visited Ima. You know how it's been work and I know I haven't been a good Wait, why are they here? <coughs> oh. No, no. no, no. <laughs> I love your Ima like she was my own. But, she loves you. But we can't leave <laughs> his family or all in my home. This already. is really bad timing. When is a good time to fall ill, Simon? Guys, the answer is no. Wow, that's a really good question. When is a good time to fall ill? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I caught that, Ima. I was about to ask. You, you always I, told me. What kind of man are you? Son of Jonah. You always told me. You have no honor, son of Jonah. You're so good at punching your head. Sucker punching me. Yeah, where's the honor in this? Stop it! Joseph, Ibrahim, if Simon says it's a bad time, he has good reason it's a bad time. Thank you, Eden. A bad time for you, not for me. Ani. No. If I can't be there for my own Ima when she's sick, what am I? Hmm. I'm nothing. I'm not a daughter. You I'm not a sister. I... Nothing. <laughs> Somebody said, oh no, COVID. Avram, Jeho, please go be with your Ima or go outside and need some privacy. Eden. I'm not talking to your sister. I'm talking to my wife in my own home. And if you're not out of this room in three seconds, I will beat you both with my bare hands. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I can't do this anymore. Wow. <sighs> please, please listen to me. I haven't been honest with you. There's no woman. It's not gambling. <sighs> Look, a few days ago, I looked you in the eyes and I told you, I've got this. I got shit. I got this. I lied. What do you mean? I've been fishing on Shabbat because I've had no choice. Andrew has text debts. I've got text debts. We haven't been able to keep up. I did some things I'm not proud of to fix it, and now it's gone <coughs> bad. And, and we're in trouble. We? What do you mean? I, I'm in trouble. But we, because I need a miracle, or I can be in big trouble. I'm not a child. Stop speaking of riddles. Tell me what's happening. <laughs> we could go to prison. We could lose the house. What? You got in my ear. It's from a Roman. Simon! If I don't catch a ton of fish or get some help somehow, they'll arrest me. Or kill you. They are Romans. Yeah, so I need to go Go now. where? The fish, I gotta spend the rest of the week doing nothing but catch every fish I can and hope I can fix this somehow. So that's why we can't take your Ima. It's just not possible. No, like... she has nothing to do with this. I would not let you punish her for your Ooh. sins. Eden, you can't do you this alone. can't tell me what I can or can't do. I got you. You have had your eyes closed around here, and God is with me, even if you aren't. Wow. Sorry. I've, I got, I, I'm sorry, this, I gotta pause real quickly. This show's so good, like, I'm so caught up with the characters that I'm feeling, like, the tension and the stress that Simon's feeling, like, my shoulders just, <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta relax, I gotta relax, I gotta relax. <laughs> okay, apologies, back. Where is your faith? Hmm? What? You heard me. And faith isn't gonna get me more fish. I'm not talking about tonight. I am talking about long before tonight. Oof. You've been different. Before it was gambling, and now it's working, and trying to do everything yourself. It's a popular Simon. Fixing everything and charming everyone all by yourself. And fishing on holy days without even thinking about it with no respect for our God. What about Pikuach Nefesh? 
We can break a commandment to save a life. Our lives are at stake you don't here. You know that because you have not pursued the Lord lately. Not like the man that I married. That is why you are stuck and you feel desperate and now you're off to try to fix it yourself again. The, the truth hurts, right? But... So go. I don't want oh, you to man. hear you tonight anyway. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry. I know. And I'm, I'm glad you're at least honest with me. But no more talking. Maybe God can get your attention now. Wow. Okay, I just want to point out, uh, Simon, he's a good person. He's a good man. He's just trying to do what's right. And he is putting himself at risk, obviously, with breaking, not just, well, he's breaking law, but he's also breaking uh, religious law. So he's putting his, even his, his eternal well-being in, in jeopardy, right? Um, and, and he's just trying to do the right thing, right? He's trying to keep, keep afloat. He's trying to make his, his wife happy. He's trying to keep her, you know, alive, <laughs> right? And so he's doing a lot of bad things. And when he saw her crying, you could tell he said he was sorry. And, and it just goes to show that like, that we, we care, like when we see that the damage that, that our actions are causing, even though we are trying to do well by our family or we're trying to do right by, by them, uh, we, we mess up, we mess up sometimes. Um, but anyway, that, that, I just wanted to point that out. So here we go. Stomach. I look like a fool. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's really difficult, really it's challenging. Happened. It's happened. Son. What are you talking about? Did you run all the way from Jerusalem? We're saved. We're saved. I saw him with my own eyes. Son. Who? It was incredible. Andrew, who did you see? The Lamb of God. He who takes away the sin of the world. Simon, who is standing by the Jordan, and John the Baptist pointed at the man who is walking. And Simon, are you listening? Yeah. Yeah, you're just not saying anything. <laughs> I saw the listening. Messiah today. The man all of us, including you, have been praying for our whole life. Don't you even care? Was he a big man? Big? No. Rich? No. He didn't seem he could bail us out of this debt to Rome? Maybe. He maybe he was a doctor? No. So he can't help with Eden's Zima, who's now living with us, Andrew. That's just sick. So pardon me if I'm not exactly jumping out of my sandals because Creepy John pointed at someone. <laughs> Creepy John. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Oh. I know this is just a portrayal of Simon, right? But I just love the humor in this. Uh, very like, it just—he's <laughs> going through like one of the most worst times like in his life. He's frustrated, and he still has time for sarcasm <laughs> and cynicism. I love it. I've lost everything. Burned every bridge. It doesn't matter. The Romans don't matter if the Messiah has arrived. Anything is possible now. Don't you see? That'd be nice. Where are you going? Go ahead, Eden. The brothers are trying to cook. I can smell it. They're trying to cook. <laughs> Very subtle, Matthew. Very subtle. <laughs> and he's taking notes. <laughs> oh, man. 
and he's still trying to take notes. He's like, maybe if I'm awkward, I won't be noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's hilarious. So you're following me now, huh? <laughs> what? It's no. It's a matter of accountability. And you're here to oh, make he's sure honest. Quintus knows where to go when it's time to hurt me. You settle your debt. I keep track of things. I do it well. Quintus knows I do it well. You're a little off, aren't you? You should turn yourself in. We can accompany nah. you. Instead of pursuing every option. There are none. You must provide the information implicating the guilty fishermen or balance the books somehow. Andrew says anything's possible. Not mathematically. Yeah, but what if, you know? You'll only be subjecting your family and friends to needless anguish by prolonging the inevitable. These are other big words. But no one listens to me. Not like they do you. You have a singular talent. That's something at least. And I assume you are not headed to the authorities. Going fishing. <laughs> variables. People are always adding variables. Does it change anything to know you only have until sun up? Sun up? But Shabbat's not for three days. Quintus is convinced you've double crossed him. He's coming. I like the music in this, uh... I'm still going fishing, man. Turn yourself in. You have no feasible plan. I just told you my plan. If I'm going down, it will be doing what God bid me to do. Mm. Tell your boss he can come get me off the water. <laughs> I love that. If you're gonna go, go doing what you love doing. We should be counting oh, our blessings. Made to do. Adonai is great indeed. Now, this trip could not have gone any better if we had planned every moment. My eyes are always open and new in this land. Not to mention the new opportunities our successes here will no doubt unlock. We will stay another fortnight, or until all of my research is concluded. But, Nico, surely you can conclude your research in Jerusalem if the archives are there. The matter is decided. I'm expecting no one. It's, it's probably no one. I need to see him. I'm sorry to interrupt at this hour, Rabbi. I bring news regarding the heretic called John. The baptizer? Romans have taken him into custody. How did you hear of this? Wish me well, Rabbi. I believe he may have given the Romans his location. We do not likely turn Jews over to the Romans. Did the Sanhedrin order this? No, teacher. I want to question the baptizer myself. I'll make inquiries. Thank you, Yosef. Yes, Rabbi. And I will discuss this with Shmuel myself. Huh? The sound of the music. Those voices. <laughs> it's a dark Archie. Hey. 
situation. Yeah, he can burn the fish out. <laughs> People bark sometimes too. <laughs> your descendants, as many as the stars in the heavens. And then what? Huh? Make the chosen as many as the stars. Only to let Egypt enslave us for generations. Bring us out of Egypt. Part the Red Sea, only to let us wander in the desert for 40 years. Give us the land, only to let us be exiled in Babylon. Bring us back, only to be crushed by Rome. He is venting. This is the God I've served so faithfully my entire life. So venting. You're the God I'm supposed to thank. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say, you enjoy yanking us around like goats <laughs> and can't decide whether we're chosen or not. Wow. Which one is it? Ah! Simon! Andrew? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Apparently no one. You shouldn't joke like that, my friend. Yeah, your friends might think you've lost faith. James and John, I presume. And who brought the old man? I heard you need a real fisherman. <laughs> How'd you know I was here? Eden may be angry, but she's not too proud to ask for help. Ah, so you told her the whole story, huh? Yeesh. How'd she take it? Let's just say it's my last night as a free man and I'm fishing. Your last night. Quintus. Hmm. Well, uh, there are only so many hours in the night, huh? Facts. Let's fish. Catch nothing. In the morning, maybe you could hide in the merchant caravans, escape to Egypt, fish the Nile. You got perch the size of children. Egypt is a Roman province now. Nah, Eden hates Egypt. <laughs> so? She can wait for you to send money. <laughs> He's like, don't play like that, guys. If I let Quintus and his boys take out their frustrations on me. He'll eventually allow me visitors. Head down. The Romans don't sound like they're any fun. So, about the news I was to tell you about. I was walking with John, they called about Tyson. Andrew. What's he on about? And he pointed at him. No more. And he said, behold, the lamb. Andrew, I said, just, please, no, 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 the word from you about this lamb of yours. We don't need a lamb, we need fish. <laughs> Simon. Uh.
I think we all know someone that has this type of humor, huh? Be quiet about that lamb. We don't need lamb right now. We need fish. So focus on fishing. <laughs> I guess they caught nothing. Maybe John was right. You have a chance. Sneak into a merchant caravan and get away. I won't leave the land of our father. And they'll find me, I'm sure. Maybe the baptizer could make me a disguise out of an old camel's hide. <laughs> Just pull up. James! James! Help! What a beautiful pup. Nothing? Zeb! Come around! Sometimes the sea bests all of us. It's not your night. Frustrating. All right. Time to be done. It was nice of them to at least come down and give it a shot. Boys! Roman scum couldn't even wait! Right with you. He thought those. He thinks they're Romans that are waiting sure for them. Safe. You hear me, Andrew? Hey, those aren't soldiers. I might still have time to see Eden. <laughs> Going to clean our nets. Wants Stick to do around something. to make sure you can leave. Oh, the music is building up something here. Look how beautiful that dog is. I'm gonna go ahead and give that pup five archies right there. Bam. Simon, it's him. Excuse me. That's him, Simon. That's him. No time for this, Andrew. It's him, Simon. It's the man. John said he's here. Right now. May I ask a favor? I'm teaching these people, and apparently they're having trouble hearing me. If I could stand on your boat, that would be helpful. They're having trouble hearing you, huh? Yes, yes, of course. Please, please, stand on our boat. Thank you. I need to go. I'm sorry. No time for this today. Stay a few moments longer. I have something for you. For me? Uh, I'm in a hurry. Yes, I know. Ominous. <laughs> Just allow me a few moments. Please. Sam. And his brothers are their fanboy. Trust you know, me. Because <laughs> I have trusted you. This man is the Messiah. It's good to see you again, Andrew. Yes. He said, yes, it is good to see me. I'm Jesus. Thanks for this. Simon. In my last moments with you, I want to share another story. Can everyone hear me? Well, can let's thank can our friends hear? for this strong boat, huh? Give a thumbs up if you can hear this. Trust me, my yelling voice is not easy on the ears. 
<laughs> because I'm on this boat. Wait, was that Mary? Sorry. Strong boat, huh? Trust me, my yelling voice is. Is that Mary? Yeah, that's Mary. on the ears. Because I'm on this boat, my final parable should be about fishing. Yes. Simon, please send me that net. When this net is thrown into the sea, what happens, Simon? Well, I mean most of the time. <laughs> what should happen? It gathers. A, a little louder. It gathers fish. Yes. This net gathers fish. All kinds of fish, yes? Yes. All kinds of fish. And the kingdom of heaven is like what happens next. After the net is full, Simon and the others draw it to the shore, sit down, and sort out the fish. The good fish go into the barrels, and the bad fish are thrown away. So it will be at the end of the age. Angels will come and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into a fiery furnace. Do you understand? Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven, like you all are now, is like the master of a house who brings forth his treasures, both new and old. You are to do the same with this knowledge. These parables I tell make sense to some, not to others. Be patient. That is all for today. I have some business to attend to with my new friend. Got Simon thinking. Put that down for a catch. A little farther out. Uh, I don't have a quarrel with you, teacher. But we've been doing this all night. Nothing. All right. <laughs> At your word. You see, <clears throat> this is interesting. Sometimes we, you know, for example, in, in this last scene here, Jesus could have said something to try to convince him, but silence was far more effective in getting him to say, okay, rather than actually saying more words to try to convince him. So in this case, less, less was more, right? Saw a fish jump onto the boat. <laughs> Silence. 
I told you. <laughs> His I smile. Told you. He's got such a I told you. awesome smile, like very kid like, you know. The boat, it's still to get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> My brother and the baptizer. <laughs> you are the Lamb of God, yes? I am. I Depart am. Depart from me. I am a sinful man. He said, I You don't know who I am the things I've done. Don't be afraid, Simon. I'm sorry. We, we've waited for you for so long, we believe. But my faith, I'm sorry. Lift up your head, fisherman. <laughs> what do you want from me? Anything you ask, I will do. Follow me. <laughs> I will. You as well. Yes, you, James and John. Come, follow me. Take the fish into market and settle up Simon's death. I'll get some help to fill both of these boats. Are you sure? Yes, go. What will you tell Ima? <laughs> We've just been called by the man we prayed for our entire lives. And you ask me, what will I say when you miss supper? <laughs> go, That's now. Funny. So, you sure you don't want to do this just a few more times? Fish are nothing. You have much bigger things ahead of you, Simon, son of Jonah. Did you understand that parable I told earlier? From now on, I will make you fishers of men. And you are to gather as many as possible, all kinds. I will sort them out later. <laughs> Hello. This catch is worth a lot. <laughs> it's amazing. It's impossible. Oh, the math mathematical mind at work. It's like the numbers don't add up, right? <laughs> You are supposed to be the powerful one. Yet, you are more frightened here than I am. Are you the one they call John the Baptizer? Yes. about miracles.
Let's get forward a little bit to see if there's anything afterwards. Oh, the credits are just big. So apparently, I think these are all the people that actually back this uh, season up. So they're all getting credit for paying it forward. Excellent. But yeah, um, I just want to say thank you to the producers of The Chosen for allowing me to, to see this live with you all. Uh, we communicated and we thought I actually requested this to, to be the way that I, I went about it because I wanted to be able to ask you all questions. No sound? Oh. Can you hear me? Choppy? I don't know why it does that. Is that, is that better now? Better, 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 better. Let me know if this is better. I'm going to Is this better? John messaged me. Okay, how about now? No sound, no, 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 no. Silence. One second. Is this better? Okay. Better? Okay. I think this is better. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. So as you as you saw at the end, there were a lot of credits. There were credits there. Um, those are the names, I guess, of all the people who donated to the show. The reason why we're able to, to see this live uh, and... All good, good now. Okay, cool. Okay, no again? <laughs> Better? I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'll double check. <sighs> Pay it forward. All right, A little choppy. Not as before. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think this is the best act, uh, way. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So the investors, the people who donated to the to the app, uh, got the credit. Some of you don't want the credit, but if you want the story to be told and to spread, and if you want season two, uh, please uh, go ahead and, and go ahead and go over to the to the app. I'm gonna close this down. Go over to the app. In the bottom, there's a there's a, a link that says that says pay it forward. If you click on the pay it forward button, it'll let you donate to the production of the page, and you can select the amount that you're comfortable with. And each amount comes with a little bit of uh, like a like a thank you, a way of thanking you, including credits. Um, you can donate donate to that so that it can help fund another way is if you if you want the dvd set um or like a they have like a the chosen 40 day devotional guidebook anytime you buy something from the website it actually helps fund season two see the chosen gift store help uh season two funding so every time you buy anything from there it'll help uh it'll help fund season two and i'm telling you all like this production is not I don't know if, if I'm if it's okay that I say this, but the production is not cheap for this. Uh, they did not. I mean, they, they did a really well, good job with uh, with cinematography, the lighting, everything, and, and it's not cheap. Nobody nobody does this work for free. Um, so uh, it's all funded by by all of you. And they have. If you go to the app, you'll see that there's over. Uh, let's see how many people. It says. 54 million eight hundred and forty thousand four hundred and fifty one fifty six fifty seven fifty sixty two views already so um if you can download the app today the link is in the description down below 
and uh, and pay it forward. Uh, I will be doing so as well, because uh, because I, I'd like to help wherever I can. Familia, uh, this episode was really interesting. Um, it was mostly following Simon's frustration with uh, his debt and trying to get the Romans off his back. As we saw, Jesus came in at the end, gave a parable. Um, I'm not sure that uh, that I like the delivery of that parable, but I totally get it. I have a question that uh, that you all can help me uh, help me with in the comments below. Um, the question is this: Jesus came into the world as a human, right? He uh, withdrew his divine powers, did he not? Like he came in, he came down here without his divine powers, right? So the question is. How was he able to perform these miracles if he was uh, human? If he yes, yes, I understand that there was a divine, divi divine part of him, but was he or was he not able to access and tap into the divinity uh, that he was? So um, let me let me know because that that's a little bit of uh, unclear to me a little bit. So let me let me know if you can, please. Uh, that little moment that he shared was very touching. Uh, you, you know, Simon seeing all the fish come in was like a, his life. He his life was saved. He was not only thinking about himself; he was thinking about his wife. I'm sure, you know, being saved from all that. And oh, it's the Holy Spirit. Gotcha. He's God and human. Okay. All right. Um, and. It was. It's interesting because he said, "I'll anything you ask of me, I'll do." And, and Jesus said, "Just, just follow me. Just, just follow me." Um, it's really interesting because it reminds me of again. I keep bringing this back up, and there's got to be a reason why I'm bringing it back up. But in, in the days where I where I spent uh, being angry at God and 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 called myself an atheist, in that in that moment that I had my my personal encounter with what I call the Father, which now I call the Great Spirit, um, I surrendered, and the only thing it asked was that I move when it when when it, when he called, when I call you answer, and when I say do this you do that, and along the way I I didn't always follow the instructions, and I struggled, <laughs> I struggled because of that. And thankfully, uh, now that I that I came back around and my relationship with the, with the Great Spirit has been reinforced, uh, I learned to listen and I learned to do exactly as is instructed of me. And I'm happy to say that yes, uh, I struggle, but not as badly as I struggled in the past. And now, I'm not saying that I'm in it because I receive things from God, but I, but but the Great Spirit has never left me and He's never let me down. And uh, so I know that much to be true. Um, so this this little journey that I'm on here, uh, exploring the chosen, is teaching me a little bit more about Jesus and what He is and who He is, and I like the the, the human aspect of of Him. Um, I like the way that this character, this actor, excuse me, is playing the role. It must be really hard uh, for him to play that role. Um, some of you said that he actually wept in some of these scenes, um, and he couldn't sound again. He couldn't. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you all can hear me still, but uh, he said that, uh, somebody mentioned that the actor just cried sometimes because he couldn't, he couldn't really like, like deal with the scene, you know, it was too much for him to even try to put, position himself in Jesus' place to even have to take on such a big task, a big task, right? So, um, yeah, so that's it for today's, uh, today's episode, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed your stay here with me. Um, I want to point out that there's a lot of awesome things, great things that are happening. And there, you know, before in the other previous messages, I asked that if there's somebody you want to pray for, to go ahead and mention them. And you can. In this episode today, we're going to do the same. Mention them. However, I also want you to to mention something that you're grateful for, something that the Great Spirit has given you that maybe you felt like you didn't deserve, but you're grateful for either way. Um, it could be a thing, it could be a person, it could be a new job. I know that uh, some, some, some of you have been uh, messaging me that you've received word from, from a new job. Uh, it could be pretty much anything. So, choppy a little bit, but acceptable. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure all this stuff out. 
All right, everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me. Please remember to download the app down below. There is a community of beautiful people, like-minded people that are coming together uh, on a app called Discord. Um, you can download that. That was also free. Excuse me. It's also free. The great thing about that app is that there's a lot of you that are coming together, praying for one another, uh, spreading positivity, sharing your beautiful hearts with, with everyone. Um, a lot of you have adopted me as either your, your, your baby bear, like, uh, like uh, Carrie from, from Scotland, who's, who calls me her baby bear. And she's my mama bear. She's adopted me. <laughs> uh, and then so many others who have just, I consider to be like my brothers and my sisters and my aunts and uncles. So. You all have been so wonderful. You've been so beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Um, please take, take advantage. I'm going to come off screen here, but I'm going to leave, leave this open for you all to share your prayers with one another and pray for one another and to give thanks to one another. And if you can, if there's someone on here who you don't know, but you would like to, to, to know a little bit better, be sure to introduce yourselves. Let them know. Uh, welcome them to, to La Familia. Uh, when you're on the live chat and when you're on Discord, you're family. And... Uh, not not an earthly family <laughs> because we're gonna end up fighting and arguing with one another <laughs> it'll turn into a true discord but uh, put your family your family um, in, in with the great spirit with, and <laughs> it makes me it makes me very happy honestly it makes me very happy to see that everybody's coming together and sharing so many beautiful things about one another and we're spreading the love and we're spreading the peace um, it makes me very happy so I've got another video that I need to edit for uh, Talk About It Thursday. Today we're talking about uh, another uh, great song that I've loved since I was a kid. Uh, and I hope that you all will enjoy it too. I, I may have to re-record it. I recorded it this morning and I was half, half asleep still. But uh, yeah, we'll be on here. So please introduce one another, yourself to, to each other. Uh, create a, create a, a safe space for those of us who are struggling still and may not want to approach. Uh, a great spirit again, but cr let's create a, a safe space where someone can feel uh, welcome and just be able to say hi. I'm my name is my name is Leonardo, and uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. I like the positivity. Show yourselves. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what hour here, uh, Rosana? By the time, by the looks of it, it'll probably be around close to seven, six or seven, my time. Rosana. All right. All right. So uh, I'm gonna get off of screen, off the screen here. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let you all say your goodbyes to each other. Thanks again for joining me, everybody.